you look at the history and the faces of the conservation movement over the decades, you would think that Latinos don't care about conservation or protection of our environment because faces like mine are very rarely seen in those circles. More than nine in 10 say outdoor activities such as fishing, camping, and visiting our national parks and monuments are important to them and their families. And 86% say children not spending enough time outdoors is a serious problem, with 60% of those saying that it's an extremely or very serious problem. And that 60% figure is in comparison to only 47% of white voters expressing that same level of concern. So the question becomes, what do we do about it? You can't expect Latinos to come to us. We have to meet them where they are, on their terms, uh, in their communities, and let them speak um, for themselves. Natural Leader is a diverse millennial who has shown leadership skills within their community to engage them in the outdoors and nature. I first really want to thank you on behalf of the Children and Nature Network uh, for your time and your commitment to be here this week and for your commitment to connecting kids to nature in, in your lives. We're hoping that the Legacy Camp really gives you this network of people to rely on and a feeling that you have new creative ways to connect people with nature and that you feel more confident in implementing those ways. The Natural Leaders Legacy Camp focuses on two key skills, one of them being community organizing and leadership. So what does it mean to bring people together to identify the challenges, the opportunities, and the opportunities for action within that community to engage them in outdoor recreation and conservation? We at REI and across our industry, we know that we lack diversity, that the demographic of our industry does not map to the demographic of the United States, and that as the demographic of the United States evolves, we are, in some respects, uh, falling further behind. And so we've got to crack this nut. Just one of our efforts is to support the Natural Leaders Network, because we know touching leaders uh, in communities is one way for us to get people outdoors, but also to see them as future participants in the recreation economy as well. So as a young, diverse millennial in the conservation and outdoor recreation movement, I often see a lack of representation within the movement itself of the diversity that we can represent and the diversity that's already there and engaged. So building that cultural capacity within the movement itself, but beyond just building cultural capacity, but building the action items which are reflective of the community. So not saying this is what we need from you, but asking communities what do they need from us. One of the things that we know when we spend time outdoors, whether we're just going for a walk or whether we're going for a trail ride or whether we're climbing a mountain, is that it does make us feel healthier. And so we're sort of natively attracted to the outdoors for, our, for its health benefits. When you touch the leaves, when you touch the grass, you actually do start to connect better with nature and you develop a sense of conservationism. I want to be a natural leader so I can make that connection and find out what's going on in other places throughout the country, throughout, throughout the world. I want to connect with people and see how I can make my programs better, to see what I can do to change what is currently happening in the community and see how I can help them. There's a lot of trust between communities, trust between leadership that can be built. And uh, so I, I like that as a theme that has come out of our conversation today. You're a natural leader for a lifetime and we're invested in you and whatever your path takes you, we are there with you. We are